Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today and today guys we have episode number 3 of the Napoli career mode on FIFA 21 career mode. Now guys I know it's been a, uh, a week or two um, of the last video maybe even 3 to be honest it's been quite a while since I last uploaded the video. Sorry I just haven't been uh, able to record uh, I haven't had the time to be honest it, uh, but you know what I finally got some time to do it to play some career mode. Last episode we obviously sold off Koulibaly which brought in a lot of funds for us uh, and I have gone through your suggestions uh, in the comment section and there was a lot of different options which you guys wanted me to check out so what I'm gonna do is have a little look at some players from this I'm gonna remove a few players which I don't think I'm gonna go for today uh, just because we've we were bought some new players or we've uh, already like got yeah already got that position or you just don't really need them um but i'm gonna try and not spend all the money at, at those like straight away uh, and try and maybe save some for january or later on in the deadline day kind of thing so first player guile was suggested a lot by you guys um so i am gonna go for him well hopefully we can get him we have 105 million in the bank but as you can see his price range is quite high 44 valued he's apparently we should be able to get him between 55 and 78 um but I'm going to try and get him first. Before we get into the negotiations, make sure to leave a like on the video. Comment any more suggestions for transfers if you have any new ones that you want to give me. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. And yeah, let's just get on into the video. I'm not going to play pay his release goals. I think that's far too much for a left back. I'm going to go into the negotiations with whoever is going to be here from uh, Valencia. So let's do transfer fee so i'm gonna start off with 50 million do you reckon that's reasonable enough let's see 69 million for jose gaia really about right, 57 i can get it down a bit 69 oh my god all right we're gonna close new fee again 62 come on come down a little bit oh okay 62 i'll take that probably a bit more than what we would have wanted to be honest with you but we needed a new left back and he was highly suggested by you guys so i'm happy to pay that and we do have money left over for someone else anyway crucial first team player because he obviously will be starting for us let's get into the next bit yeah four-year contract that's fine with me uh, no release clause that's fine as well and what do they want in terms of wage right so he's on 41 I'm gonna give him 51 then I'll give him 1.1 signing bonus how about that there you go happy days first signing of the episode and our new left back is in the squad now so Gulam will come to the bench now uh, just because I think uh, let me swap him out for Let's put the centre back. Gulan can play centre back. Uh, Gaia comes in. And now the question is uh, we need a new centre back. And we do have someone which I could go and get. Now, he was suggested by one of you guys again. I know we did sign a new one, but obviously because we sold Marquin. Uh, no, sorry, because we sold Kulubali, I'm tempted to go for Marquinhos, but his price is actually very high. So I might have to hold off on him for now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go have a little scout around for some different players and see if we can find anyone else. Uh, people like Pepe, I am tempted. Hamsik was suggested to bring in. Um, I mean, he's going to be very cheap just to have him back for a season. Someone uh, suggested to bring him back. I'll have a look to see if we have enough money for him. Um, but for now, we're going to leave the transfers where they are. I'll go scout some players. Uh, we'll probably go jump into the first game of the episode before we do more transfers. So I'll be right back. Right then guys, moving on into the first game of the episode is against Genoa. I actually accidentally sim this game. I didn't mean to click that at all, but I've accidentally clicked sim. So that means we're um, going to be doing a sim for the first game of uh, the episode, unfortunately. But you get to see the new sim feature. I know we did use it in a couple of episodes before in pre-season. Now hopefully we can bounce back from the last game we played, which was against uh, Juve. Uh, Alexandra got the late winner against us, but we didn't play very good. To be honest, I was just getting trying to get used to the team. 
Um, but, you know, it's fine with that. Um, Lozano's captain. I don't know why he's captain, to be honest. I think it should be either Mertens or Insigne, if I'm being totally honest. But that's fine. I can just sort that out after this game. Again, I can jump in at some point, so I might do that as we go 1-0 down. I don't know, 15th minute. I'm not going to jump in just yet. But I do think I'm, I probably will jump in just because we haven't started very well. And it's just not looking good at all but it's early in the day early in the game it's fine it's early in the game we're fine nice play here can we get the ball through to Oshimen? no we lose the ball there now i wouldn't i wouldn't mind if they had your the names above the players um on this but obviously that's not really a big feature that could get changed they're playing some nice football against us here and they're probably going to score again and they do and we are going to jump in and that is just not what you want to see at all. 2-0. And let's jump in and see if we can uh, try and get a few goals back. Inside. Oshman. Kamavinga's through. Kamavinga hits the post and it goes in. But that does not matter. We pulled one back. 37th minute. And it's 2-1 now. We've got one back. Let's see if we can get another one. Here come Genoa again. Moret has to make a save. Corner. It's about to be half time as well. I don't really want to concede now. Get rid of the ball. Headed in. Oh, it's bounced off the keeper's head. You're joking me. No way, man. How has that just gone in? It's bounced off the keeper's heads just before half time, and we're 3 1 down now. Mertens is on the ball now. Can he slide it in? Oh, that's not a good pass. Get another chance, though. Mertens is through. Oh, that's lovely football. Mertens. Oh, it's straight at the keeper. No way. I should have probably gone for a ball roll there and take it around the keeper, but I didn't really, um, didn't really think about that. Oh, what is that? Pass the towel. He's giving it through, and they're through, and that's game over. 4 1 to Genoa. A towel has made an absolutely awful pass, and we paid the consequences for that. Oh my god, that was an awful pass. And that is just completely just ruined the chances of even getting a point, let alone trying to get a win. I mean it was it was in doubt from the from the minute it went 3-1 to be honest, but we, we haven't really had many chances to be honest. Politano now, Oshiman down to the wing, not really where I want him. And they get it in, whips it in, back post, De Luca. Oh my god, how have you missed? How has he missed that? The youngster he should be scoring that. And that's game over, guys. Not a good start to the season in the league. Oh no, it's the Coppa Italia. Oh wow, it's even worse. It's even worse, boys. Right, we're going to move on into the next part of the episode now, which will probably be another signing, but I'm not too sure yet. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Right then, guys, I'm going to go in for Huang He Chan again because we did try last time and I offered him... I didn't think I offered him enough mo uh, money in the contract. Um, so now we actually have a chance to try again. This will just be for, like, a sub player. Let me see if I can do a swap deal. Because we do have this guy who I probably won't use. How much is he worth? 10 mil plus 3.9? No. Oh, you're joking me. Why? Why not? I don't get that at all, guys. That is a joke. Now, why would they not accept that? A striker plus 2 mil. That's like, that's like 30 million, the equivalent of that. Right, anyway, I need to, um, I've got two days until I get my scout report back from this striker. Now, he is one that I want to try and get. Now, no, let me go back. So, five. he's only worth 5 million. See, this would be a perfect uh, backup striker, in my opinion. He's very quick. I know that he's very quick. He's only 74 rated, but he can play striker, right wing, or left wing. So I'm going to go in for him and try and sign him as a backup player. Right, let's go in for just a transfer fee of 4.3.9. No, oh my god, what is happening with these transfer deals? I can't get anyone. 
And I would want to go for Mbolo, but I just don't think he's worth the money. Just to sit on the bench. Pepe's another one who I could go for, but again, he's just too much. So what we're going to have to do... So let's go look in the strikers, to be honest. Now, there's not really many that could be a backup striker. They're all just way too good or not good enough. I, I did need a left -wing midfielder, actually, because I was tempted to try and repl not replace Insigne, but they're both getting old. And I wouldn't mind getting in someone a bit younger and a bit quicker. Zaha, he's already gone to Inter. That's a bit of a shame. Leon Bailey's a good one. I'm going to scout him. Pulisic, he's, only, he's just joined. He won't leave. Ostic wouldn't be a bad shout. Guerrero. Bergwijn's just joined. I might go for Kostic, you know. I, actually, no. I don't know. That's kind of just a... Guerrero could be a good one. I'm going to leave that for now. Anyway, guys, I'll move in to the next part of the episode. All right, guys. We're going back for Huang Hee Chang again. I'm, I'm going to just offer what he's worth because I can't be asked to try and get like a, a cheaper offer or deal because he clearly they clearly don't want to sell him for that much. So let's just go for... how much? He's worth 14. So I do... Let me just do his, his, his value. Okay, his value. 14 and a half. If they storm out over this, then I've got no chance. 25 million they want. Okay, right, let's change that because that's not going to be happening. Let's do 18.5. I didn't mean to put the 10. Maybe that might swerve them. And I'm going to go down to 20. 20 is going to be my lowest offer. 20 million for Huang Hee Chan. 24. I reckon I can get them down a little bit more. Let's do 21. Let's do 21. 9. I reckon they'll accept that. 21. 9. Yeah, there we go. Happy days. Wang Yi Chan could be on his way to Napoli. As our backup striker, to be honest. I don't know if he'll like that. He'll probably want a uh, important. Oh, no, he does. Okay, that's good. I will happily take that. Three-year contract as well. Yep, we'll accept that as well. Who else don't want to do that? And then he wants that. And that's fine with me. We've still got 50 million to spend, which is perfect. So, that means I'm going to get rid of him and Bolo as well. Hamsik, you know what? I'm going to go in for him now because you guys, there was at least three of you that suggested Hamsik just because you want me to bring him back to Napoli. He's very cheap. And what we could do, we could do a, a player swap for one of the midfielders which we don't use, like, at all. Like this guy, we don't use him at all. And then if I offer him, if I offer them... 1.6 mil as well. Oh, okay. Let me just... It's off a free. There we go. Hamsit coming back. He's probably going to be usable for one season like, as like a sub player. But like I said, do you guys want me to bring him in? And I thought, you know what? Why not? Let's just bring him in. Let's see if he wants that. If we want crucial. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's do three years. He's probably not going to want that. I want two years. Oh, wow. He doesn't actually mind that. Um, except no release clause. I don't really like putting release clauses on players. So he's on 22. I'll give him 32. And I'll give him a 400 grand bonus. Wow, okay, they want more. Oh my god. Okay, let's just do... I'll give you 50. And I'll give you 500. What about that? Yeah, there we go. Happy days. Hamsik is back at Napoli. Let's go over to the squad and sort out the bench. Because that's where they will be going for now. So, let's get him off. The Huang Hee Chang. And also get Zielinski off for Hamsik. De Lozano, oh no, sorry. Gulam can come off for Malquit. Uh, I do need another centre back to be honest for rotation. If I'm if I'm being honest. Could do with another centre back. But Hamsik's in. Hamsik will probably just come off the bench. 
for us. But anyway, we're going to jump into the first game of the actual Serie A season. Let's see if we can improve on the last game and get ourselves a win. Let's see how we get on. Right guys, first game of the season is here. Let's see if we can get a result. I'm hoping we can improve on the last game that we just played because I just, yeah, it wasn't a good performance at all. But you never know. Let's see how we get on. Insigne's won the ball back here. Need some options here. Oh, and Oshiman's there. Plays it through to Fabian. Slides it through to Mertens. And it's 1-0 to Napoli. Dries Mertens with the goal. Lovely bit of play from Insigne Oshiman. Lovely pass from Fabian. And Mertens smashes it into the back of the net for the first goal of the season. And we're one up against Sassuolo. The tackle from Manalas there. Yi Chang on the ball. Lozano. Fang Hee Chan. Hamsik. Nice bit of play from him. Fabian, I don't know what you're doing there. Good tackle from Zagadu, though. Win it back. Hamsik. Kamavinga. Insigne now. Fang Hee Chang's gone wide. I'm going to go for the long shot here. Oh, and it's not actually that far wide from Huang Yi Chang. 11 or so, uh, 12 or so minutes left to play in this game. Can we hold out for our first lead of the season? Here comes Sassuolo. This is not good. Squares it. Good save from Merritt again. Lovely bit of uh, goalkeeping there. Corner now. Taking Fabian off because he's a bit tired. For Malquitz, who's going to have to play a role in holding in fields. Another corner now. Good defending from Gaia. Boga to whip the ball in. Takes a weird corner there. Malquit does enough to clear. Now let's just get team press on so we can just clear the line. Can we get the ball back, Gaia? Don't foul him. Don't foul him. That's enough. Nice from the keeper there. Going to throw out wide. Lozano inside. Alquitz fresh in the pitch. Lozano is making that run. Can he cut inside to Malquit? He can. Hamsik's is, Hamsik is there. Can he shoot? Hamsik! Oh, it's saved by the keeper. Corner now. Really nice move from us. Good counter attack. Ball whipped in. Insigne. Hamsik's there. Oh, and it's over the bar. Here come Sasulo. Nearly the end of the game. Zagadu does enough. One more minute of the game. Can't we just hold out this lead we've got? I'm gonna throw it all the way back to the right back. Here they come. We're gonna get are they gonna get a chance to shoot? The frail, bit of skill. Just defend. Jockey him. No foul. Kamavinga. Surely that's game, and then it is. We win 1-0. Not a convincing win, but a win's a win. And I will take that every day of the week. What we're going to do now is jump in to the post-match press conference before we end off the episode today. A bit of an up-and-down up episode. We made a few good signings, and we've lost our game in the Coppa Italia, but we did win the first league game of the season, which is always good to see. So, delighted with a first win. Um, yeah, I'm 100% happy with that. Gaia, he actually played very well. Um, what, a bit of a letdown? What? Nah, I thought he played alright, to be honest. You have to be strong in both parts of the game. Anyway, that's the end of the post-match interview. Let's see what Gulam's actually said, to be honest. Um... I just want to ask for you. Hmm, not too sure about that one. Anyway, let's get rid of those. Anyway, this is going to be the end of the episode. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here. Make sure to keep the notification bell on so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.